Puto are Filipino steamed rice cakes, traditionally made from slightly fermented rice dough It is eaten as as or as an accompaniment to a number of savory dishes most notably, dinuguan. Puto is also an umbrella term for various kinds of indigenous steamed cakes, including those made without rice. It is a sub-type of kakanan rice cakes. Description Puto is made from rice soaked overnight to allow it to ferment slightly. Yeast may sometimes be added to aid this process. It is then ground traditionally with stone mills into a rice dough known as galapong. The mixture is then steamed. The most common shape of the putuhan steamer used in making puto is round, ranging from 30 to 60 cm in, in diameter and between 2 to 5 cm deep. These steamers are rings made of either soldered sheet metal built around a perforated pan, or of thin strips of bent bamboo enclosing a flat basket of split bamboo slats similar to a dim sum steamer basket. The cover is almost always conical to allow the condensing steam to drip along the perimeter instead of on the cakes. A sheet of muslin is stretched over the steamer ring and the prepared rice batter poured directly on it, an alternative method uses banana leaf as a liner. The puto is then sold as large, thick cakes in flat baskets called balao lined with banana leaf, either as whole loaves or sliced into smaller, lozenge-shaped individual portions. Properly prepared puto imparts the slightly yeasty aroma of fermented rice galapong, which may be enhanced by the fragrance of banana leaves. It is neither sticky nor dry and crumbly, but soft, moist, and with a fine, uniform grain. The essential flavor is of freshly cooked rice, but it may be sweetened a bit if eaten by itself as a snack instead of as accompaniment to savory dishes. Most puto cooked in the Tagalog-speaking regions may contain a small quantity of wood ash lye. Puto eaten on its own commonly add toppings like cheese, butter, margarine, hard-boiled eggs, meat, or freshly grated coconut. In Bulacan, puto with cheese toppings are humorously called patong bakla homosexual puto", while puto with egg toppings are called patong lalaki man's puto", and those filled with meat are called patong babae woman's puto. Variants. <inaudible> <inaudible> Puto is also an umbrella term for various kinds of indigenous steamed cakes, including those made without rice. The key characteristics are that they are cooked by steaming and are made with some type of flour to contrast with babinka, which are baked cakes. There are exceptions, however, like puto seco which is a baked dry cookie. The traditional puto made with galapong is sometimes referred to as patong puti white puto or patong bigas rice puto to distinguish it from other dishes also called puto modern variants of puto may also use non-traditional ingredients like ube purple yam vanilla or chocolate notable variants of puto as well as other dishes classified as puto include the following topic <laughs> rice based puto Puto bombone, traditionally made from a special variety of sticky or glutinous rice called pirarutong which has a distinctly purple color. The rice mixture is soaked in saltwater and dried overnight and then poured into bombone bamboo tube and then steamed until steam rises out of the bamboo tubes. It is served topped with butter or margarine and shredded coconut mixed with moscovado sugar. It is commonly eaten during Christmas in the Philippines along with babinka, another type of rice cake. Puto cutsinta, typically just called cutsinta or kachinta, a steamed rice cake similar to patong puti, but is made using lye. It is characteristically moist and chewy, and can range in color from reddish brown to yellow or orange in coloration. It is typically topped with shredded coconut meat. Puto manopla, a variant specifically flavored with anise and lined with banana leaves. It is named after the municipality of Manapla where it originates. Puto maya, more accurately, a type of biko. It is made from glutinous rice usually purple glutinous rice called tapal soaked in water, drained and then placed into a steamer for 30 minutes. This rice mixture is then combined with coconut milk, salt, sugar and ginger juice and returned to the steamer for another 25 to 30 minutes. It is popular in the Cebuano-speaking regions of the Philippines. 
It is traditionally served as small patties and eaten very early in the morning with sikwate hot chocolate. It is also commonly paired with ripe sweet mangoes. Puto pandan, puto cooked with a knot of pandan leaves, which imparts additional fragrance and a light green color. Puto pao, a combination of sha pao meat -filled bun and puto. It uses the traditional puto recipe but incorporates a spiced sweetmeat filling. Others Leche puto also called puto flan, or puto leche a combination of a steamed muffin and leche flan custard. It uses regular flour, though there are versions that use rice flour. Puto lansan, puto from Iloilo which is made of grated cassava, and is foamy when cooked. Puto mamon, a puto mixture that has no rice but combines egg yolks, salt and sugar. A mixture of milk and water and another of flour are alternately mixed into the yolks, then egg whites are beaten and folded in before the dough is poured into muffin cups and steamed for 15 to 20 minutes. It is a steamed variant of mamon, a traditional Filipino chiffon cake. Puto seco also spelled puto seco, a type of powdery cookie made from corn flour. The name literally means, dry puto, in Spanish. It is baked rather than steamed. Sometimes also called puto masa, literally, corn dough puto, not to be confused with masa padrita, a Filipino shortbread cookie. Topic Gallery equals equals see also